What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another episode of the Blueprints of Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, today we are going to be covering the Arctic 50 Zero G. So this is a brand new sniper that's come out to this game. Uh, like to my knowledge, I don't know if this sniper has been here before. But yeah, uh, this new blueprint um, has made its way into this game. And honestly, it is by far one of the best uh, Arctic 50 epic skins that I've seen so the Arctic 50 is not really a very used sniper, you know, usually you see people using the Locust or the DLQ. But in my personal opinion, this actually has to be one of my most favorite snipers in this game because of the one-shot kill potential. And especially that since this weapon actually does come with stopping power rounds, it just makes this a lot more easier. So this weapon was presented to us by the Void Redux Draw. Um, I thought it was called the Zero-G Redux Draw, but no, it's called the Void. But anyways, you can pretty much get this weapon on your first try. If Well, actually, like, the first three or four tries. It's not really too expensive. Just, like, have about, like, maybe a thousand COD points on you or a little bit more. And it's a done deal. Okay, so with all that said, before we begin, of course, make sure to subscribe for some more Call of Duty Mobile Blueprint content. And make sure to follow me on Twitter as well. So anyways, let's actually begin with the cosmetics of this weapon because honestly, it's one of the best cosmetics I've seen for this sniper. I know there's a lot of good epic blueprints for this weapon, especially with the black gold and like that other steel blue uh, variant. But in my personal opinion, this probably has to be like the best one, especially since it's pretty much animated all over. And I won't lie to you guys, this sniper definitely needed some love. I, I felt like the sniper has been very neglected within this game, even though it's a very, very good sniper. I mean, it was probably one of the easiest snipers to use while I was grinding. And since this weapon does come with stopping power rounds, um, and if you actually do get this weapon before you actually start grinding it out, you pretty much have a head start. Uh, that's what happened with me with the Black Gold since it also had stopping power rounds. So the appearance is very similar to, of course, the Revolver and the Cordite. Uh, yeah, it's literally the exact same thing. Um, the Zero-G uh, animated skin is probably one of the best in this game. Um, that's why a lot of people were excited when this new draw came in. And especially now, since like whenever there's a Redux draw, there's always seems to be a new uh, variant that comes with it. So like, you know, when they had the Redux draw for the Color Spectrum KN44, they had a Color Spectrum variant for the ICR, which wasn't actually present in the beginning, when, you know, when the draw came out around the first time. So yeah, anyways, the cosmetics of this weapon is amazing. I do not like the sniper scope, though. I, I usually never use a sniper scope when I'm sniping because it just zooms in a little bit too hard, especially for close-range maps. I usually prefer a tactical scope or the three times tactical scope, but that's just me. I know a lot of you guys will bash me for, you know, having a class setup like that, but yeah. But anyways, speaking of class setups, let's actually talk about the attachments that are associated with this, uh, this weapon. So the attachments are the anti-material heavy barrel, the RTC steady stock, the bipod, and the MIP stopping power reload. So honestly, I am not a fan of this class setup because like honestly, like the mobility is terrible. Like you feel like you're walking with like five cinder blocks on top of you. And it's just it's it just sucks. Like I, I do not recommend actually using this setup. In like any lobby, even if it's a normal lobby, I really don't. I mean, in ranked, you get pummeled. Like, like there's no question about it. Of course, if you're one of those unique people that actually doesn't quick scope and actually stays back and like camps with your sniper, uh, this shouldn't really matter to you. You have like pretty much all the range that you need. The damage is there. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much a perfect camper setup. But you know, since this game's like aims more for quick scoping, yeah, this class setup really isn't recommended. But of course, everyone has their own playstyle, and like, of course, it also lets you set up the class to however you want it. Like, obviously, but yeah, um, not recommended to use like that. But like, since this is a blueprint episode, I have to use it the way it came. And honestly, it just this gun was really awkward. I did not like the slow movement with this. But anyways, do I actually recommend getting this weapon? I definitely do. It's pretty cheap in the draw. Um, it's among one of the first weapons that you get. Like me personally, I think I got it within my second try. So yeah, and then look at look at this. This is the, this is the shit that I'm talking about right here. Just look at this gameplay on the screen that you just saw. Like me dying from a guy with gravity spikes, and like the animation was over. And his shield was still up, so like when I shot him with the when I shot him with the annihilator bullet, it just reduced his damage by half, man. I, I'm telling you, man, that gravity spike needs to go. 
But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, the next one's, of course, going to be the RPD Orbit. So yeah, uh, make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. My name is Triforce Addiction. I'll see you guys next time.